what NLP tool do top athletes use the most? Um, it's actually an NLP tool from the very foundational NLP training, uh, NLP practitioner, which we offer in Mexico, in Bali, um, Los Angeles, sometimes Miami, sometimes other places. Um, is the is the ability to actually what we call in NLP to future pace, and we an, an athlete in terms of motivating themselves, they use this concept in future pacing in many different ways. So what is future pacing? One, future pacing is about placing your mind into the future and see what you would see, hear what you would hear, and feel what you would feel in that future, right? Okay, so obviously the most obvious one is future pacing yourself what you will see, hear, feel, smell, taste even, the moment that you win, that's, that's a way of sort of like lighting up the neural pathways in a way that your brain starts to, I want that, I want to motivate myself to do that, make it loud, make it big, all that stuff. So that's the most obvious way that an athlete would use that or any successful person would use that. But also think about this, future pacing, can also be done inside the game, which means if I future pace myself, can I have a better understanding where my opponent will run to? Can I have a better understanding of what decision I should take in this game, in this moment? But it's also about future pacing. It's like visualizing future pacing, um, the goal being scored, the uh, before you set up, uh, you're, you're, you're throwing a ball of some kind that needs to hit a net or a specific location, a basket, uh, hoops, yeah, is that you actually have to visualize the basket going into the hoop in order to actually do that. Uh, I did projects with um, a very famous golf player who I had to figure out what is, is it that this person do, do inside their head it's at her head in order to, to sort of get the ball at the right spot. And again, that was a future pace. So think about in your job, in your sport, in your goals, in your way of thinking, how can you use this concept of future pacing in different ways? You know, so you, it's not always about the end of the goal. How can you do a future pace uh, of yourself one minute from now, one second from now? And so uh, that's something that um, a lot of athletes do in many, many, many different ways. And of course, not future pacing into failure. See you around.